everyone, I hope you're doing well and welcome back to the channel and hi if you're new, my name's Sophie, I am a flight attendant slash cabin crew, whatever you want to call it and I attempt travel videos and a little bit of sprinkle of everything else and this video is the sprinkle of everything else. This is my get ready with me work edition. So I get asked quite a bit how I do my makeup, I don't know whether it's because people are fascinated or because I'm so pale, I don't know but I get asked quite a bit and it changes quite a bit so this is my newly updated and one that I'm very happy with makeup system that I use daily either for work or like personal and if I'm going out the only thing I will change is the foundation everything else stays the same and maybe the eyeshadow palette that's it but if you want to see a get ready of me for going out let me know and I can be sure to film that for you but today's video will see me go from this into this, ready to fly back to Dubai. And as you can tell, I am still on a layover. I thought this was the best time to film it because this mirror, creme de la creme of mirrors. So without further ado, enjoy the get ready with me. Okay, so I've finished my hair and I always seem to do my hair first. I don't know why. Even when like I'm getting ready to go out for a night out or like dinner or whatever, I always do my hair first. But we are starting with the makeup and I'm going to walk you through as much of it as I can. So I use MAC Studio Fix in N4. I've used this for years. I've recently changed my shade because I found out I was using the wrong one. I was using, I think it was like NW10 and it was obviously too warm so it was going yellow and orange so I use this now, I use a tiny bit for what I was saying, it was quite a lot um, I use this for work and I use one and a bit pumps and I get that all over my face all up in there Oh, I use the, what am I using? The Real Technique Buffing Brush 204 is what I use for foundation. And all my cheeky bits because those bits always stay red. And to be fair, I'm not that bust about it blending into the redness because that is really bad sunburn. I am still in Algiers right now while I'm filming this. I'm getting ready to go back. If you watch that, you will see the bad tan and the bad burn. Then I take the Kat Von D concealer in light 103. I really like this. I bought this in America when I was there recently, when I was in New York. When I had a bad shopping experience, I couldn't find anything. <laughs> uh, but I did find this. So I put it on my eyes, a little bit around my nose and on my lip. Brighten up my lip a little. Blend this in, I use the buff and brush. I use a deluxe crease brush in 300. So all my brushes are the Real Technique ones. I got them on offer basically, so I decided to use them all. <laughs> and they seem to work for me. I'm just gonna blend this in. So I kind of like stipple it out with the small brush. And then I'll go in with the bigger brush and like push it into the skin, into the area. I hope this is in focus. And you have to pull funny faces while you're doing it because if you don't, are you even doing your makeup? I'm really sorry if I keep like looking in the viewfinder or looking in the mirror, but it's really hard to do your makeup because you need to see what you're doing. <laughs> then on to setting my face. I use the Revolution Translucent Powder. I only use this because it's the one I had left in my drawer and I can't get hold of the Laura Mercier one. And to be fair, this does the job, especially for work. So what I'll do is I'll put a little bit on the back of a, a lid. Only a tiny bit. And then I use the Laura Mercier sponge, dab it in, and press it in. 
So I start around my eyes because in the world we live in today, the eyes are the only part of the face you can see. <laughs> and then I'll put quite a bit on my forehead because I'm a sweaty person and I live in basically the desert. So I lose a lot of my makeup on my forehead because one of sweat and two because of the hat. So the hat sits about here on my head and after a while I just get like a line with no makeup which is not what you want when you're about to do a long flight. <laughs> and then once that is finished I look a little bit like a clown. I then use the blush brush in 400 and just dust away the excess. So that is basically the foundation complete. And do you know what I do? I tidy up as I go along. It makes life so much easier. It makes me remember every step. For eyebrows, I'm still using the Benefit Goof Proof Pencil in number three. I am not going to do this on camera because there's pressure and I do not need the added pressure. So, cut to me with eyebrows please. <laughs> eyebrows are quiet. They are distant cousins, not sisters, but I'm okay with them. To finish off my eyebrows, I use the NYX Control Freak Brow Gel, and it's in clear. And this just keeps the hairs in the way that I would like them. I don't know if that's how you're supposed to use it, but that's how I use it. To finish off the eyes, I use the Charlotte Tilbury, which is very dirty. I use the Charlotte Tilbury in Exaggerate. And I use this shade on a ooh, a MAC brush and I just put this all over just for a bit of colour. Drag it out a bit up here, blend it out in there. Like this. That's all I do for eyes. I'm not fancy, I don't do like winged liner because if I do that I'll probably look like Amy Winehouse not cool and I'd say that looks alright I always get told as well on flight it looks like I put it on the under, under bit here no that's just my skin tone that's just my pink skin so that is eyes done now to shape the face this was a trick I found on a YouTube video, I can't remember whose it was. I just uh, searched contour for pale skin and they advised to use MAC eyeshadow in Omega. So I do and I like it a lot. I use the contour brush in 206 and the eyeshadow, tap off the excess and then just run it across my face. onto the hairline, blend it in, and I always like blend it up a bit so it looks like I've not got a line across my face, I don't know if you're supposed to do that but again makeup is how you want it, as long as it's like, as long as it's what you want then no one can tell you any different, if you want to wear green eyeshadow and pink mascara Wear green eyeshadow and pink mascara because it's your style. We're not all robots. Because it is eyeshadow, it does. I don't know if it, it blends a lot, but it also like disappears. So I, I kind of use quite a bit of it. The excess I just run down my nose. But I do want to try and point out I do always have redness here. Here. Um, the only way I can actually cover that up is with a very high coverage foundation and I don't mind using them on like special events or going out but for work I don't want to put
put that much on my face. Once that is finished, I then take the Expert Face Brush 200 and the trusty old Benefit in California. It's still going strong, people. If you've watched any of my previous makeup videos, it's the same one. It's going strong. And then I stipple it on to my cheeks and I pull it up quite high. And I always do my nose now. Little red nose like Rodolph. I think it just looks a bit sun kissed. Adds a bit more dimension to your face. Then to round the makeup off, I have a um, highlighter, it's the MAC one. Before that, I use the Fix Plus spray, the original. Spray this on my face, so it's a bit tacky. Then the highlighter is barely dressed. I don't know if it's still available, I've had this for a very long time. And then it is the fan brush in 404. It's like four different colours. I can't really see it, but I really love this one. And then I'll fan it on. Kind of dab it in as well. And then on my lip, on my nose. And then I'll also take a Diddy brush, which is a detail brush, 207. Give that a wipe into the inner corners. And then onto the brow bone. It's the tiniest, tiniest thing. You can't really see it, but it's like a ritual. Though. Then I take the powder brush again and just go over, make sure it's all blended in. Make sure my hair's okay. And I always have to check that I've done these bits because I always forget these bits. And then to finish off the makeup look is mascara. And I use the Maybelline False Lash Look one. It's probably one of the best ones I've found drugstore wise. I don't particularly like buying expensive mascara because I think mascara always sells a promise and it's never true. So I don't particularly like buying expensive mascara. If you do have any mascara recommendations though, let me know because this one is nearly out and I would like to buy a different one. Always up for trying new stuff. difference a little bit of mascara can make, eh? Makes a world of difference. Oh, there's the phone. Um, wake up call the quiet. <laughs> right, let's get this finished. Makeup is complete, so I will be right back when I'm dressed. And just like that, I'm ready. I'm ready to go back to the bye. I've covered up most of the redness. I'm gonna wear my cardigan to protect my little arms. This is the final makeup look. Again, no red lipstick this time because we're still in a world of masks. So I just use the Paw Paw uh, Lip Balm is what I use to keep them moisturized. Anywho, that is gonna be it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed and do like and subscribe. If you've got any other video recommendations, leave them down below and I will hopefully do them. Um, but until next time, I will see you soon.